Hi, I'm Katrina de Monteverdi with ID8 TV, and I have Travis Walton here today. How are you? I'm doing okay. It's been a busy day. I know. There were so many people lined up to see you. That's amazing. How do you how do you feel about that? That everybody's you know really interested. Well, you know, that's my mission is to get out here and inform as many people as I can. And I, I know Fire in the Sky um, is based on um, the extraterrestrial um, experience that you had, right? Yes. Yeah. Um, can you give us just a premise of that? And um, Well, back in 1975, uh, I was part of a seven-man uh, woods crew leaving our uh, Forest Service contract for the day. We just finished a long, hard day's work, and uh, we encountered a UFO in the woods. Um, I got out to take a closer look and was hit by a blast of energy from the craft and uh, taken aboard. My uh, crewmates uh, went and reported it to uh, the Sheriff's Department and uh, they weren't believed. They uh, were accused of making up a really bizarre cover story for a murder. Wow. So do you, do you remember it vividly or like how you felt? what you saw oh yeah so you know those uh, experiences are burned into my mind and there's just no you know no uh, getting away from it um, to this day you know you can't unexperience it you can't make it unhappen so uh, uh, I tried just turning my back on it and put my head down and I was working 12 hours a day for like seven years but wow. yeah I find out you know you, I, there's just no getting away from it and so I uh, kind of made it my mission to get out here and try to uh, make people realize that there, there is a core reality to this phenomenon and that uh, the sooner we uh, come to terms with that, the better off society is going to be because uh, we need to be ready. Mm -hmm. What do you think, um, in your opinion, what do we need to be ready for? Well, uh, open contact. You know, uh, these uh, sightings, I believe, are... Um, deliberately incremental and just shy of anything that can be proven as a process of accustoming people to the, the presence without creating the kind of panic that uh, uh, you know was exemplified by that uh, War of the Worlds thing way back when a radio show was mis uh, mistaken for uh, uh, a real life reporting and caused a panic that um, people lost their lives over that so you know, even today, um, open contact would not be good for us. So, so you know, science fiction's uh, prime directive, non-interference directive makes perfect sense that they're holding back because we're not ready and, and it would not be good for us to, uh, for them to uh, come forth at this point. Well, I think it's great that you have made it your life mission to educate people and let people know um, and share your experience because I'm sure it was um, something that's very personal to you. Um, what would you say like, the biggest impact that experience had on you? Well, it certainly made me think it, um, in terms of a much wider context to life and what's going on. To me, now, it, back, in, back in the day, it was uh, if you think there's life outside of Earth, uh, you're a kook. Now, if you think we're alone in the universe, you're a kook. Got it. Well, is there anything else that you'd like to share? Well, I say be ready. And, you know, the number one thing probably that the, uh, these uh, extraterrestrials are waiting for is for us to uh, be more tolerant of each other. Um, as badly as we treat each other on the basis of superficial differences, uh, how badly would we treat them if they were walking amongst us looking so wildly different from us? I can just imagine the kind of conspiracy theories that would grow up and the prejudice. So, you know, we got a ways to go. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. I really appreciate you taking the time and being so personal with your experience and sharing it with us. So thank you. Okay. It was good meeting you. Yeah, nice okay. to talk to you. Nice to talk to you, too. I'm Katrina DeMonteverdi with ID8 TV.